Once upon a time, there was a small boy called Harry. He was strong and loved to tease all the boys and girls who went to school with him. What he loved to do the most was to pinch others. He could make a big bruise appear in half a second. Another trick he played was pricking people with a pin. So, you can guess how all the children hated him. One day, the whole class went for a picnic to the seaside for a whole day. All the children crowded into the train and sat down. But nobody wanted to sit next to Hari because he always pinched them. When they arrived at the seaside, all the children jumped out with a shout of joy. Down to the sands they raced hand in hand, but nobody took Hari's hand. Nobody went near him. Hari was angry. He went to an isolated sandy corner near a rocky pool and sat down by himself. He took out his lunch and looked at it. Wow, it's a good lunch. There were two hard boiled eggs, six jam sandwiches, three pieces of bread and butter, a ginger cake and a bar of chocolate. He would eat it all by himself. He would not offer anything to anyone. Just as he was beginning with an egg, he heard a hoarse voice near him. Good morning. I am so pleased to meet a boy like you. Hari turned around and stared in fright. Hari saw a monster crab walking sideways out of the pool. His eyes were on the ends of the short stacks and he looked most unusual. He held out his front claw to Hari. Hari put out his hand to shake the crab's claw. But to his surprise and anger, the crab opened his pincers and nipped his hand so hard that the little boy yelled. Oh, here is my good cousin. And to Hari's horror, he saw a large sandy lobster crawling heavily out of the pool. Before Hari could stop him, the lobster took his hand in his great pincer-like claws and pricked it so hard that he yelled in pain. Don't you like it? Why we were told you would love to see us because you were a champion pincher and tricker yourself. Come, come and join the fun. His lunch rolled into the pool. And when the crab and lobster saw it, they ran to it and began to feast eagerly. Hari saw that they had forgotten him for the time being. He turned and ran for his life, tears screaming down his cheeks. Hari ran and sat near a rock thinking. They only did to me what I keep doing to other children. But how it hurts and how I hated those crabs and lobsters. I suppose the other children hate me too. I shall not pinch or prick anyone anymore. 